Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome back to Lorelei. Previously, we helped Al with his problem, one way or the other. Now we're back in the other world to see the repercussions of our actions. Chapter 6 The Factory. Place. It's playing some crazy old movie. What movie are you playing? Ah yes, White Noise. I love that movie. Actually, I think there is a movie called White Noise, so let me not make a joke like that. This coffin seems different from the rest. There's a massive padlock on it. Mum. Trying to make a point here. She looks like she's reaching out for something. Mom, why do you keep haunting me? She wants her baby. Locked. Doll. It's just a doll. She looks like she's re reaching out for something. Is that John? Oh crap. Locked. That is exactly what I need. To make that joke. Looks like some murderer's weapon. I feel like we need to get out of here fast. Maybe we should have kept the axe. Well, well, well. Aye. If it isn't my sweet little Lorelei. Hi. Um. You all right? You all right? No, Lorelei. I am not all right. I mean, is life better? Yeah, I don't think she took that for an answer. Okay. Weird. Dream what house. A beautiful house. Maybe 
Maybe I should just rest for a minute. No, not yet. The store leads out to the garden. Let's go into the garden quite literally. You'll find Lorelei. Someone literally waiting? Huh? Oh god. It's you. Um, where are you? Right here, in the cage. Are you talking... Are you the crow? Like, are as in the D-Crow from the movie? No. I mean, yes, I, I suppose. That bitch queen of maggots turned me into a crow and locked me up. Jimmy? Yeah, it's me. So now you're Jimmy the Crow. Does it hurt? Not really. But boy, I'm so hungry. So, uh, that's what crows think of, just food. How did she find you? Oh, I went to the tunnel. I knew I shouldn't have. And that thing, that monster, it grabbed me hard and shrieked like a demon. Then I woke up here, hungry, so fucking hungry. Okay. I'm sorry to see you like this, Jimmy, but I'm here. We'll figure out how to save you. Yes, but first, I need food. I'll starve to death if I don't eat something soon. No, that's a trap. How come you're so hungry? You've not been here long. Really? It feels like years and years to me. Oh. Did you hear that? Hear what? My stomach. Rumbling. Like a thunderstorm. Well, how about some delicious juicy pumpkin? Yeah, I'm not eating that. What's wrong with pumpkins? I don't know. But for some reason my stomach turns if I even think about them. Oh, come on. You'd rather starve to death than eat a pumpkin? I think... I know they're filled with blood. Look, I know it's crazy, but... I'd really much prefer those white granules. Isn't that... fertilizer? I don't care what it is. It smells so good. That's a trap. Obviously you should really, put it in front of you. really want it. I'll see what I can do. You can just give me some of that fertilizer. You sure that's even edible? I want it! He wants Please. it. Please! Hi. Jimmy. According to the label, it's a saltpeter based garden fertilizer. It's run down looking, just like the rest of the garden. I'm not thirsty. I'll be back. Squeaky old stairs. Hmm. Red door. That looks comfy. Even the linen smells fresh and inviting. Dang, pump. It's like choice between the sofa or the bed. Do you have that key? The 
just before we do that... This must be Queen Stew leftovers. Then... I think you have a portal to the void in your house. Flames are still there. Here. She thinks we're in this weird dream world and we don't have a key, so she's probably not worried. We've left Jimmy to his devices, because obviously if you put a trap and make him infinitely hungry, you're gonna put the poison right in front of him. It's hot. This if I destroy this thing. We need to find something. Some item. Because this is all dead ending out. This is... You kind of like attribute each painting to each door. So maybe I am supposed to go out in front of the house. Or just drink the stew. Then die again. I feel like John's gonna be right annoyed. <laughs> it's like, I keep killing you. <sighs> Back from the dead again. I think his name was Gibbs. John took this cop's uniform to trick off some manly. I think his name was Gibbs. I think his name was John took this cop's uniform. If only you'd listen to me, Mom. Smells like gasoline. It's a bit too heavy to carry around. So what's John's end game? Because he's killed two cops, and obviously they'll know he did it. He, he's gonna be a fugitive. He would have been better off when he came to. Is just run. Because he technically did not murder the mom. That was a suicide. And then they could say he attacked them and tried to drown the baby, but that's much lesser than murder. And he probably could have ran, and maybe they just would have eventually given up and catch him. But of course, John's crazy and they should have got out the window a long time ago. So, you know, it is what it is. Climax is in a brick factory. So where's the other two?
gone. John really wanted to specifically drown the baby. We found him. Ow. I really need to stop dying. You just won't let it go, will you? Well, this will be our last goodbye. John is do himself in at some point. I feel like that'd be a kind of an ironic conclusion. Can he die? Oh no, he's double making sure she doesn't get back. Wow. I really should arm myself with a prick or a weapon or something next time I respawn. Maybe I should just rest for a minute. Now, do I respawn on the spot? Does that mean, like, she would respawn and just die right there? Here we go again. Seems like it provides a certain level of fate realignment so you don't just get stuck permanently dying. Guess what, buddy? I can get inside the factory through here. I'm very pissed, and because I keep dying. It's been a real rough day. Doesn't look like heaven to me. Kinda does. From where I'm looking. Oh, Zach. I saw you dead. You you had a <laughs> you had a bullet hole right between your eyes.
Uh, I'm immortal. I'm immortal. You are so awesome, Lorelei. I'm not. Bethany's dead. It's my fault he took her. I'm so sorry. I... I thought it was the cop. But he smacked me one right in the face and I went down like a sack of bricks. I know. I fell for it too. How bad is it? Well... <laughs> this rod's gone right through me. If I move... My guts will probably fall out onto the floor. <coughs> They're not my prettiest part, as you can imagine. So I'd rather spy either side. I think I'll just sit here, very still, for a little while longer. I'm sorry I got you into this mess. It's okay. No one wants to bother me. Not, she's not staring not directly at him. Happened to you if I hadn't knocked on your door and asked for help? I have no regrets. For you, I'd do it a thousand times over. You know this. I could never find the courage to say it, but I love you. I've loved you from the moment I saw you, Lorelai. Two years ago, the day I moved in, you sat on the stairs with your headphones on. And you were wearing the same dress, red and black with stripes. I knew right then. Wow, would you really say this right now? you die like this. There must be some way to save you. To save all of us. You really had died, hadn't you? You'd mm. think I've lost my fucking marbles if I told you. They take a ball to the head. I make video games. I spent half my life living a fantasy. Try me. Imagine for a moment that when I die, the time stops and I go to this strange other world. I'm with you. There's a monster there, deep in the tunnels. And an old woman. The Queen. She lights candles for each of us in her house. And she likes to put them out. And as their flames die, so do we. That monster, you know, I... I feel that if I destroyed it, it would make everything okay again. Actually, I nearly blew it up with explosives. But, sadly, nearly is as far as I got. And now I'm kind of fucked. And that's assuming that I simply haven't gone crazy in the head. So, you need a way to kill the monster, right? Wait, you actually believe me? Yeah. I mean, sure, it's all very odd. But yeah, I believe you. Kind of saw your corpse with a bullet hole on it. It's a kind of creature, right? You can still blow it up. Best way to fight it. But with what? I'm out of bombs. Make another one. 
Like I know how to make a bomb. It's easy. I made plenty of them. Let me guess. In Skyrim? <laughs> Don't be silly. Bombs? In Skyrim? What for? When you have fireballs? But sure. They could have bombs. Did they get sponsored by Skyrim? <laughs> See that bottle many of our 20 versions yet. Grab it. Just fill it up with alcohol or gasoline. Anything that's flammable will do. You make a Molotov. Well, actually, you did say it was flammable. There's other things you can add to make it go boom twice as much. Like salt, Peter. But I doubt you find any of that here. Wait. Anyway, stick a rag in it, light it up, and send that thing off to hell. There was salt, Peter, in the uh, you near sure Jimmy. You sure just break in my hand and burn me alive? I guess that's one risk you have to take when you fight monsters in dark tunnels. Oh, I almost forgot about this. Take this. Something to light your Molotov. And perhaps some candles. If you find one with my name on it. <laughs> it's never gonna work. I know you're dying on there, but let me just tell you that we just gotta be friends. Tetherage, you mean something else when she means it in this context, but still. This time, it's the princess that saves the hero. Damn, John, you're like a damn slasher villain. Run! This is one hell of a storm. Shit! Shot. I smashed the bottle. Oof. No, we're gonna stab him with a broken bottle. To get an actual bottle. It works. Is John. I think I'd know how to drop that container. Dropping the container would tell John exactly where I am. I think this panel next to me is used for controlling the crane. Greasy. We need this. Saw John leave here. I guess they used to fix it oh, back in the day. Is that a bug? I don't know, but it came out of the tank. I guess they used to fix equipment here. I can craft a weapon. Don't hide in there! Well, I did automatically. I didn't see an option to move. Mm -hmm. 
Well, these edits are really weird. There's a long metal in the sack. God, he's dying. I must hurry. So we can't slide down this time. to um get the uh gas now, there's a chance John might be out here now there's only so many spots he could be in what to be in the portal potty <laughs> yeah you see that son of a bitch too many donuts was it Oh, I need a fucking breather. Oh, we actually took advantage of the terrain and didn't just walk in a straight line. You gotta be at the workbench and know how to put a rag in the bottle. Are you crazy? Yay! We need we use that work prints real well. Uh -huh. Oh my god. He really did not like her. You bastard. That's one way of flying out our problems.
Watch him still be alive somehow. John's just a God. John, you're a damn Terminator. Why? What? You lot have a look. Ruin one fucking life. If not, get the bottle. Taking her out. I don't want to burn myself. You're gonna burn. Wait. gonna burn all right It's really that easy. Ungrateful little bitch. You have ruined it all. I gave you all this power. And you stabbed me right in the back. Why do you look like me? I thought you should look yourself in the eye when last time. It's doing that flashing thing, it's really annoying. Soon, I will be gone. All of this is a memory. And even that will fade sooner than you think. Until one day you look in the mirror and realize that I can never truly die. My roots grow deep. And my thorns leave scars you can never quite heal. So I think I was right that the Queen of Maggots is a reflection of kind of the dark side of life in a sense. That's why you look in the mirror and I'll be there. You'd never let me leave this world. And I don't want to stay here. I made you strong. I gave you everything you ever wanted. But for what price? I almost ruined poor El's chance to fix his life. 
he's lucky that half the time, I didn't really know what I was doing. But that's not me. And if you don't understand it, then you don't know me at all. All I ever wanted was a normal, happy life. Not just an illusion of one. You really think there's something better waiting for you out there? I want to find out for myself. That sad mortal life. You can try your hardest. But in the end, you always lose. <laughs> I think you're the one that's lost. See all this fire? That's you frying in hell, bitch. Naive little fool, with all your foolish dreams and hopes. Life will offer you nothing but tears. Those close to you will eventually betray you. They always do. There's a fire inside your belly that urges you to fight. It will die. Vanish. You will wish you could return to me. Oh, you will. But I won't be there anymore. I think I'll manage just fine. It's time for you to go. Yes, I'll go. And you will too. But not the same. Nothing. Nothing will ever be the same. Goodbye, Lorelei. Goodbye, Lorelei. Well, that was a warm outcome. Last of the stew. And then the kennels, yeah, they all went out. Got all three. Now we relight everyone else's candles. Uh, they were all in pretty bad shape, if not the mumber was outright grinded to death. Well, the corpse was grinded anyway. I'm assuming relighting it does a hard respawn. We'll see.
Maybe the mom respawned back in the apartment. It is where she technically died first. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Um, no. You weirdo. It's a saltpeter-based fertilizer. And Crow's favorite snack, apparently. I wonder if we can use this with the bomb at the end. It didn't really matter, but still. Here you go, have some delicious fertilizer. Get more, more. Ah. Mm. I need more. Still hungry. Oof. Jimmy. Oh, there goes Jimmy. So we actually were able to combine the fertilizer with the bottle. So I want to see if the explosion is much more different. I need to light it first. So this is if we go off the Owl Dies route, which is already pretty different than the Owl Lives one. Where are we? Your own little world. Oh, hi. It's beautiful here. What else could it be? You dream of beautiful things, Lorelei. Whose house is this? Nobody's. But it's waiting for an owner like you, Lorelei. And let me guess. I pay mortgage by making people's lives a misery. It's not that expensive, but isn't it the best way to get what you always wanted? A quiet little house, away from all those toxic people. A blue house. I like to be yellow like Van Gogh's house. Wouldn't it be funny to pink live in a pink house? Hmm, let's try this. I'd like it to be yellow. Like Van Gogh's house. Well, how'd you change on the spot? Oh, wow! I'd paint it all red. Let's try red. Eh, yeah, you know, not bad. That's way too red. Like blood. 
Wouldn't pink. it be funny to live in a pink house? Oof. I'd like it to be yellow. Let's go back to the like yellow. Van Gogh's house. Yes. This place exists only in my head. Isn't all life happening only in our heads? That's technically true, but let's not talk I about that. I have to be honest, Lorelei. Old life has nothing to offer you. It has always given you only pain and sadness. But things are different now. You found who you are. You've done well. And all of this is your reward. What now? Look inside your new house. Say hello. But it's not real. It's just a dream house. Can you not smell the wheat? Here it rustled in the breeze. If you touch the house, you'll feel the day's warmth soaked into the bricks. The whispering of the wood. Yes, this house has a heartbeat of its own. And what do you want from me? I want you to go back one more time. And kill your stepfather. Then we both want the same thing. You know I have my reasons to do this. To save Bethany and Zack. I probably won't even have a choice. But why do you care? Because by killing him, you will renounce your mortal life and return to me. So you can become the Queen of Maggots yourself. And what if I want to stay with Beth and Zack? You can't have it all, Lorelei. A life for a life. Can you be totally honest with me? Can you be totally honest with me? And answer one question. Just one. Please. Why me? Who is the real Queen of Magnets? Is your name Lorelei? Oof. Both of these questions probably like, touch deeply into the, the philosophy of what she is. Let's find this is one. your name Lorelei? Yes. <laughs> but I have many, many names. And only one of them is Lorelei. I'm ready. Excellent. Go inside now. I'll tell you what to do. Alright, I'm actually gonna reload. I'm gonna ask one of the other questions out of curiosity, see what she says. Can you be totally. Who is the real Queen of Maggots? The one in the tunnels. You should not have gone to the tunnels, Lorelei. Was that who you really are, though? A monster? Deep down, we are all monsters, Lorelei. I'm ready. Exit. Okay. So the other question kind of gave more of an actual answer. What a beautiful house. Where it's kind of a I am you and you are me situation. Well, right upstairs. That stupid old crow in the garden isn't worth your time. He'll starve to death soon enough anyway. Uh 
everything looks a lot different this time around. Huh? Oh god. It's you. Well, I've already seen this dialogue for um, the most part. Where are you? So I'm gonna skip through it. I'll and let's blow Jimmy up. And one more. Jimmy. I'm surprised the Queen of Maggots didn't comment on this time. Is it much nicer, like, kind of environment than before? I'll say that. Isn't it a lovely room, Lorelei? A lovely room for lovely dreams. You'll find yourself back in my house. When you wake up. I've left something tasty for you in the kitchen. I suppose on this route she kind of explains things a little more. This big ass machine over there. He called it the Cruncher. Oh no. He seems to know this place well. He used to work here before the place shut down just over a year ago. What does the Cruncher do? I think it grinds stones and clay into a pulp. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be made into bricks, aren't we? <laughs> Shit. So let's try not telling him about the revival and also not kissing him. How bad is it? Well, <coughs> let's go ahead. I'm sorry I got you into this mess. It's okay. No, it's not. None of this would have happened to you if I hadn't knocked on your door and asked for help. I have no regrets. For you, I'd do it a thousand times over. You know this. I could never find the courage to say it, but... I love you. I've loved you from the moment I saw you, Lorelei. Two years ago, the day I moved in. You sat on the stairs with your headphones on. And you were wearing the same dress. Red and black with stripes. I knew right then. I'm sorry, but this would never work. You don't know anything about me. You don't know what happened. And even if you did, you'd never believe the things I've seen. You really had died, hadn't you? You'd think I've lost my fucking marbles if I told you. I make video games. I spent half my life living a fantasy. Okay, so they shouldn't exactly... Try me. ...reject him. It was more like... ...things are really bad right now. 
What will it change? Listening to my crazy ramblings is the last thing you need now. Okay. But please, don't let him kill you. You have to find a weapon. A weapon? Like what? There's nothing here. Look around. There's got to be something. Can I kill him with... this bottle? Hmm. Actually... Hey, can you make a bomb with a bottle? Like, fill it up with something flammable and make a... What do they call it? A Molotov's cocktail? Oh! I bet I could kill that big tunnel monster with it. Zack? So this time around I don't get the lighter. So I can't even light the candles even if I want to. Rest in peace, my friend. I bet I'd probably light it with the, um... There's like a little furnace there. So except for that, it's probably gonna be the same thing. Alright. That's... You want to see the alternate version of this route? 